Hi guys, I've got Chris O'Connor today to talk about speed increasing handpieces. So many of you have messaged me to learn more. Can it fit on my unit? Does my unit accept it? How fast will it run? Does, it, does my handpiece produce water? Does it not? I don't know. So that's why I got Chris on who's far more knowledgeable. We did want to do this as a like official podcast episode that's going to be on Spotify, Apple, etc. But because it was so visual, I just decided it's best we keep it on YouTube. So uh, if you find your principal or your colleague might find this video helpful, if you're trying to make that decision whether a speed increasing handpiece is best for you, then please forward this video to them. Otherwise, hope you enjoy. This is kind of like a, a geeky episode. They want to just probably listen on a drive or a journey and it's not too heavy, but it's like fundamental stuff that we should all know about handpieces that I can't believe I didn't know, but now I feel much better for it, if you know what I mean. Anyway, let's join the main episode now with Chris O'Connor. Chris O'Connor, hashtag Incidental Limited. Welcome back to the Protrude Journal podcast. How are you, my friend? Yeah, I'm really good, Jazz. Um, absolute pleasure to see you again. Mate, you absolutely killed it in Back to Back Class 2. So if anyone hasn't heard Back to Back Class 2s, that one was prolific. Uh, and I've got you back again for a couple of things. One about speed increasing hand pieces. So today's a, a group function. I just want to know... Speed increase handpieces, it was very confusing for me when I was um, in a position to, to purchase one. Uh, and I learned about these as the ultimate handpiece for refining your crown preps. And, but I still get messages because nowadays I've started to, you might have seen, I've started to share more videos of me doing sectioning and elevating with my speed increasing handpiece. I'm getting loads of messages saying, whoa, I, I have no idea what does this mean? What is, the, what, is this what a red band is? Why is it so special? So we're going to demystify everything about these handpieces, we'll learn from you all about that. But also, we're going to tackle class three composites uh, in the main episode uh, as well. So let's let's just go straight to the first question, my friend. What's the difference? You know, you, you got your normal air rotor handpiece, which is the one that everyone has. And then some clinics think they're really fancy because they've got the, there's the speed increasing, usually with a red band around it. Just tell us what's what. Yeah, thanks, Daz. So I thought it'd be, it'd be kind of cool just to go through um, the main, the main um, different sort of handpieces and couplings, um, just generally, just to give people an overview. Because as I, I've kind of started looking into this, I've been amazed at the amount of stuff I didn't know. I think uh, just dentists, you just pick stuff up and you're like, oh, it's not working or what's going on? And and when you speak to them, Oh, Chris, uh, I, I'm the worst at that. Honestly, if something breaks down, I'm like, Zoe, do something because yeah, I don't yeah. know what I'm doing. Honestly, I, I, I'm happy to my hands up. I admit that I'm hopeless when it comes to uh, anything not working and any handpiece issues. I once remember, Chris, this is embarrassing, right? Oh, there's no water coming from the handpiece. There's no water coming from the handpiece. Everyone do something. So I'm had rush. And I call my principal working in a different practice. And he says, uh, Jazz, uh, on your handpiece, on your handpiece, there's a little a round uh, little dial. If you just increase that, that allows the water to come through. And I was like, oh, okay. So that was, again, very embarrassing first year at dental school. So yeah, th this is a, an essential topic, I think. Yeah, it's empowering. Like Principals seem to get to know a lot because they install those surgeries, but associates, we don't always invest. So um, rubbish. this is for everyone, but particularly for them, I'm just going to give you an overview. So um, for guys on audio, um, uh, I'm just going to talk you through this, but I've also got a little video uh, to, sh to show people as well. So the hoses that come off your um, regular dental chair, there's actually a couple of different types of them. Okay, um, so you have the most common, I would say in the UK is called an M6. So M6 means it's got six holes in it. So two big ones and then four on the side. And that one has mm. fiber optics that, that, that come through it, okay? And then I just thought they were all like that. And then what I found we're getting into the hand pieces is actually there's a couple of different types. So you've got an M4, and that only has four holes coming through. And then you've got some weird ones, uh, which only have two. Now these hoses that come through to your chair can connect to various devices. So they can connect both to slow speeds and high speeds. It's not like one hose is a high speed or a slow speed. It's what you put on top of that. So this this is uh, this is the actual uh, yeah the hose is the best word for it is, what it is and this is what you stick your handpiece onto just to make it really clear for those listening you know you actually attach your handpiece and is it the coupling is yeah that so the it? coupling goes on next so high speeds right they are not universal in the type of coupling that you get okay um, now the one that we sell that is a cavo one but I don't know if you've ever seen there's like all different types that you push on and they do that so it's quick to put your your high speed handpiece on which is your air turbine. Okay, so you have to match. So see, you've got an M6 hose. You have to get an M6 coupling or, or I'll show you in a minute, air motor to connect to it. So you plug them in, okay? And then, and that's your, um, that's your, that's your motor ready to go, okay? Um, 
and you can have different ones that go on. So you don't have to feel constrained particularly, but you need your, your coupling to match the high speed that you get. So that's why if you ever get a high speed from a different surgery and you, you can't fit it on because they've got these different couplings on. So then you've got your, your high speed and you, you push that on and um, you're, ready, you're ready to go, okay? Now a high speed air turbine, the air, the compressed air from your unit just whizzes through and it turns the, the um, drill very, very fast. And these run out, and these figures are reasonably important to know, 300 to 400,000 RPM. Okay, so these run incredibly fast. Nothing else can get anywhere near the speed of these. But because it's driven by air, if you imagine the, the motor, it doesn't necessarily have a lot of torque to it. So it's very, very fast, very efficient. But if you hit something hard, it's just going to stop or slow down because it's not powerful the turn. Okay. Which is the most annoying thing ever. Like uh, it, it, I actually experienced this yesterday. I was removing a gold crown uh, and I was pressing hard onto it uh, and it just stopped. So that's talking out and, and that's very annoying when it happens. Uh, and, and that's a feature of uh, an air driven handpiece because it can yeah, talk absolutely. out. Absolutely. So the next main type of coupling that you get is an air rotor. So this one, the air turns the motor and then the motor turns the handpiece. Now you you'd be used to using these because we use them for all of our slow ham, slow speed handpieces. This is the unit that gets them going, the motor. Okay, and again, you'll have ones with different types of connections. So M4, M6 at the bottom, and the most common I suppose would be an M6. Now I wanna highlight this because it's important for the chat later, is mo these seem to, there seems to be a quite a lot in the UK probably older ones where there's no water that comes through them. Okay. But you absolutely can buy air motors that have internal water. Um, and that means that you can have water running into your slow speed. Um, and obviously this is quite important for our chat later about the advantages of speed increasing, but I think people don't realize that. And the water can be very helpful for polishing and carries removal. Even you don't want to overheat the tooth when you're working close to the pulp. So Chris, this this um, coupling for the slow handpiece essentially uh, is called an yeah, air that's right. Motor. And again, that's the conf like again, I had absolutely no idea that's what it was called. And um, so you've got your your high speed coupling, okay, which is your um, Cavo or WNH. There's lots of different styles of them. And then we usually refer that to, to that as an the air yeah, rotor. Yeah, so the right? air rotor is air rotor is your, your your high speed, which we you know you use normal fast handpiece. Hand piece, yeah, and that goes on mm -hmm. a coupling. And there's loads of different connections for these. Mm -hmm. Okay. The good news for us, mm -hmm. <laughs> for everyone, is that the um, the air motors have a universal standard coupling. Okay. That is standardized globally. All right. So that's that's really um, helpful. And um, you you put these on, and the air drives the motor, drives your slow speed. So you can put a slow speed on here. Okay. And that will take the speed of the air motor and it will gear it and it gears it on a slow speed, it gears it one to one. So if I've got this run unit running at 20,000, the slow speed runs at 20,000, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. now, now, not all units, and now this is um, some older units, not all units have the the digital bit where you can go up and down and change your RPM, right? Some of the older ones, they are, like, I've, I remember speaking to a really talented dentist who runs these composite courses, and I said, oh, what speed do you run this um, polishing thing at? He goes, well, I, ha I have one of those ones on the foot pedal. I don't see an, any RPM digits, so I just kind of go, like, I press 25% of the way. That was the answer he gave me. Yeah. So what's the difference? No, are they just really so old-style ones? this is absolutely ones? critical to the understanding electric handpieces. So no handpiece that is an air motor, which means the air is driving the motor, will give you a digital display. So you know you're using electric if you're getting a digital display. Okay. And that's because mm -hmm. an air rotor goes at the, at the speed of the compressed air and that will vary from chair to chair on what, how much, you know, how many bars you're getting through this. But these go an absolute maximum at 20,000. If you're working on a chair with poor air compression, you'll get less than that. But generally, all chairs are fairly standard with the air pressure because they get maintained. So you're looking at 20,000 out of these. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes uh, makes perfect sense. But I didn't I didn't appreciate that. So this is okay. Really, is really uh, getting nuanced. And this is yeah, let's try and cover this. Actually, know. we're like, oh, I'll give them an overview. But I think to understand it, you just need to uh, bear with us, guys. <laughs> a tiny bit more, it will be helpful. 
Go, go for it, Chris. Chris, I've decided. I've decided already that this is going to be a standalone YouTube video, uh, and this will be like a no, th th because I think this is really important. Uh, and then the the more pertinent bits we'll we'll put in the audio snippet. But this is really really good. So right, what I'm going to tell you a couple of things about these air mirrors. Jazz is letting me go a bit more. So these air mirrors, any that go on M6, M6 means that it's got two extra plugs, which means they usually have LED come through as standard. Okay, and then they'll have a little lug here. Okay, where the LED coupling goes. But these couplings can take either, okay? So here's an LED one I've got with the little lug in, and that will seat in, okay? And it just sits in beautifully because it's got that little depression. And then um, this one hasn't got an LED. You can tell the LEDs because they've got that little um, square that comes in. The little, there's like a little, um, audio listeners, there's a little box at the bottom of your handpiece, and it presses in as you, as you put the handpiece in, and that connects the LED. To the, to the unit and that then puts the, the light then travels down the um it's just an led tube and it comes out at the, the top okay so you can you can connect easily one without mm. an led and one with an led to an led air rotor the problem slightly comes if you're okay. using an older tube like an m4 because they don't tend to have um the little lugs in them um, because there's no there's no um, fiber optic coming through here, so you'll see it at the top. It's completely flat. Now, obviously, it'll fit one that hasn't got fiber optic in beautifully because there's nothing, and it will take one with an LED. But can you see it wants to push up, and you'd have to hold it in. So that's mm -hmm, a real mm -hmm. problem. And I've, to be honest with you, I'm really appreciating this more now. I wanted our range to be really simple. When we're selling these and I was like, I don't want to have any extras if you don't have to. But what I've realized, because I only wanted to do LED things, because the more you do, the more it costs to stock and blah, blah, blah. So I don't know, I'm working with the manufacturers because all it needs is a little lock in there to stop it bouncing up. So we're working with them, but it's mm -hmm. just a physical space. It's just right? a physical but, space for no it to need, see but into. Apparently, I've been onto them about making ours different with that in. And apparently, they'd have to re redesign quite a lot of spare parts, and because if you put a hole in there, it would like be where the wires are. So, um, I, I mean, I'm quite tenacious, Jazz. I'll work on it mm. because people want it. These things should be universal. It's a pain in the ass otherwise. So anyway, so that's your M4, and it doesn't have LED, unfortunately, mm -hmm. and that's a pain with the LED handpiece. So I'm going to have to figure that out. But most of us, luckily in the UK, have an M6. Okay. So you put your M6 on, and it will do both. Okay. Right, so um, I'm gonna. I've got a little mobile unit with me here, so I can turn it on. Okay, so what you should note about this is it's got the LED coming through, but it also has water coming through as well at the same time. That can it just builds up compressor. It'll stop mm -hmm. in a minute. It'll be fine. That okay. So everyone thinks that their slow the okay. slow hand pieces won't generate the water through. But there's no reason it can't have water coming through it because um, they've got an internal water spray handling. Okay, and right, so that, does that make sense? So these are your air motors, yep. okay? They go at about 20,000 RPM and you can connect them to your one-to-one, -one, which is what we all do through our regular slow speed work. Mm. And this is specifically in those scenarios where you don't have, is it called a micro motor, yeah, the thing that allows it, right. you to so plus and minus the RPM? That. This air motor is driven by air goes up to 20,000, and that's what most of us have in our chairs. And if you press it gently on the foot pedal, yeah, that'll so, give you a little bit less because you're just driving through less air. And, and, and I'm still trying to bottom this out entirely, but most foot pedals on, it, it depends on your chair, but most foot pedals on cheaper chairs are just on off, okay? So there's no slide on them. So you put on okay. and it's on and you put off and it's off. So it's basically just 20,000 and that's your lot. I think there's ones, you know, where you slide the pedal across and then mm -hmm. press it lower and stuff. They're obviously able to give you variable air pressure. Yeah, but 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 my one, Chris, my my, my one is, um, and maybe you can you know tell me how that works. But my one, if I just press a little bit gently on my foot pedal, um, I can use my fast handpiece, my air rotor, uh, in a slower the air way. Air is coming into here and it's driving this motor, and on a high speed. The air mm. is literally coming around, and mm -hmm. these have like a the top of the high speed literally has like a wind a, a, a windmill inside, like a, a wind vane, and it catches the air. It literally spins it. So mm -hmm. if you imagine when you push gently, especially at the start of pressing the button, the air is just starting to come through the machine, and it'll just turn it lightly. And when you put it down fully, it'll obviously be mm -hmm. at full speed. So you're modulating the air that comes through, and you can do that to an extent with the air motor as well. It's almost like just getting it going 
as it, as it starts, it's starting up, it's just turning. Yeah, the air metal with the air coming th through. And I think the, the, the better chairs have like a lever that goes left and right, or, or there's different ways of doing it. And that reduces the amount of air mm -hmm. pressure coming through here. So if you imagine you only send it through at one bar, you'll probably lose, lose this speed down to say 5,000 RPM, and then full speed is 20,000. But I've, found, I've been working on some mobile units and it's really hard to buy those um, foot pedals actually. So I, they seem to be in the older chairs. The ones we had, even quite old ones, had that function to them. And I really like that. I like to be able to vary it. It's okay. Now, these arrows, right? They mm -hmm. go at 20,000. One of the common misconceptions with dentists is that you cannot use a speed increasing handpiece unless you've got an electric mitre motor. And that's just completely false. Okay. So I'm going to grab. This is a, um, a speed increasing handpiece, mm. and I'm going to put it on here. Okay, this is, happens to be a 45 angle one, but it doesn't have to be. And then that's going to whiz beautifully. Okay. Mm. Yep. But that's going to go at 100,000. Am I right? If it's 20,000, it's a five exactly. to one. It's going to go so the 000. limit becomes how fast, right? The um, air turbine goes. Okay. So I remember a high speed goes at 300 to 400 thousand RPM. So this one's going at 100 thousand. It's decent, mm -hmm. but it's not going to section like crowns very easily it's not really fast enough okay but but you still get the benefit of of you won't talk out right you still it still functions as the the the, the what's spinning the drill now or the, no, the, the burr is remember, still this one, this uh, electricity right driven and not by air. the air good question though. so it's driven by the air so what you so you mm -hmm. can get good speeds on these okay. but the torque is not as constant as an electric okay yeah uh, yeah it'd be better it'd probably be better so than it the can talk out maybe but it will it can talk out because because and the other thing is we assume that air is absolutely constant through this unit and it and it unfortunately it isn't that's not how compressors are and so you'll get lies and a bit of suck back so um they call it suck back where it kind of d doesn't as constant the torque in it um so so they and, that, and this is again it's really important to understand but why the advantage of the electric is so but you can connect a red handpiece to these. Now a red handpiece, let's just do with a regular one because it's more obvious, right? That is geared. So this goes at 20,000. The red handpiece is gonna be a one to five here. So that takes the 20,000 here and the gears inside it increase it by five. So that's gonna to go to 100,000 RPM. Yeah, and what's the advantage here really? When it's working at it, its optimum pressure. The advantage is this handpiece, the, the, the red ones, take regular burrs so they take your diamond burrs yeah so for me the biggest advantage here the is friction grip you can, burrs you're doing your crown prep and you're if you only have a um a fast high speed you've only got something that goes at you know 400 000 rpm now sometimes you want to go a little bit slower or you'd hope you do anyway so when you put it on a, a, a five to one you can use all the same burrs <laughs> that you were using before you can use your coupling that you've got for your slow speed, but you suddenly have a massive range of burrs that you can just run slower. And if we're honest, that's what I'm a lot of the time as a restorative dentist, I'm using these for because I can suddenly use all of those, um, all of those burrs uh, mm -hmm. slower and give me the control to finish. Let's just take 20 seconds, Chris, to, to, to highlight some indications that you and I would use uh, this benefit of you sticking a friction grip burr uh, into a speed, in speed increasing handpiece so that you can get less speed on purpose with your um, um, same burr that you'd use for your fast handpiece. So the immediate one I want to think of is refining your crown yeah, preps. Yeah, so I, uh, I how probably about you? cut and finish now pretty much all cavities with a with a speed increasing and I have for, for many years because if you're polishing or refining your margins with a with a high speed burr, you generally don't want to go at four hundred thousand RPM. So um, anything that's not sectioning crowns and things I would I would slow down. You know, dentistry just slow down a lot of the time. You're much more careful and mm -hmm. you get uh, better results. So the, the indications for, for mm -hmm. restorative work for me mm -hmm. are limitless really for this. Anything where I want to go slower. Yeah, so co composite for me, composite uh, finishing and then the polishing. Um, definitely a, a big plus using certain burrs to get the three planes, adding your tertiary anatomy. Like, you know, your like perichymata right at the end. You can do that beautifully with these hand pieces. Yeah, so, and we do that a lot on the courses and things. We'll put in like a, um, a flame burr. I mean, finishing composites generally like a flame burr is really good for that. Um, and, but you don't really want it again, running at 
400,000 RPM. So it just gives you the, the variability that you that you want. Okay, thank um, you. So these are good. So I think we could probably at this point move on to electric mm -hmm. micro motors. All right, so an electric micro motor. Now, a lot of chairs now have these integrated mm -hmm. with them. You probably know you've got an electric motor because it will have a dial on it that telling you how fast it is. So most of the ones in it on a chair, if they've got if they've got any kind of dial that tells you the speed, it's probably got a micro motor mm -hmm. in it. And um, but you can also buy this is like a little one that I use for testing and 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 demos. So this is one that can you can connect uh, your four hole your M your M four uh, hose to, and it will that will create an air switch to turn this on. Um, turn the unit on. So I, I do that better for audio. So that you, you can use air to turn on the high, the um, electric micromower and the electric micromower uses electricity, that's the difference, to drive the mm -hmm. motor. Mm -hmm. Okay? And your motor though looks like this. So it looks almost identical to an air motor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right? Looks it, but it's, it's got the same very, fitting. Very different. Again, How it works. And yeah. again, these are universal. Mm -hmm. So the function's very different but the connection is identical. Yeah. See that little lug for your yeah. LED one? And it's the same. And these, pr I don't, I haven't seen any of these that come without an LED. Uh, you probably can get one because that's life, but they should all have one in them. Yeah, I, I remember when I was buying my first uh, set, there, there, there was an option, but the, the, the option to have the LED was so little extra that, it, uh, yeah, it wouldn't make sense not to get one, I guess. Uh, you, you future we just it. said, we just wanted to standardize it with the LEDs, but the problem is those M4 ones. Look at me now, I can't get this bloody <laughs> Okay, so we've got the micro motor now um, ready to go. I've connected it up and it's got the LED in, all right? And this is being driven by electricity. Okay, so what are the differences to the air rotor? Well, number one, they can go an awful lot faster. So these can go to 40,000 RPM as opposed to 20,000 from an air motor. And then uh, I can connect an LED or whatever, and it can be multiplied by five, which is getting you up to 200,000 RPM. Mm -hmm. uh, and the um, uh, question straight off the bat is, is 40,000 the maximum that micro motors go? Yeah, pretty much. You can get some newer ones that go up to 50,000 okay. that are quite expensive. Mm -hmm. um, and some of the um, some of the surgical ones will go up higher and they are slightly different because they have an external water. I'll try and cover mm -hmm. that in a minute. Um, but you can, 40,000 is the standard. The, I would say the regular, mm -hmm. the, the standard limit. And if I was to um, buy a slow hand piece, I'm, I'm, I'm opening a new squat practice. I'm going to decide that I'm going to have a uh, electric micro motor so that I can use speed increasing hand pieces as they were intended. But also now I'm also going to buy the regular slow hand piece, which is the contra angle. Now, do I need to buy a different contra angle hand piece to fit this um, micro motor? Or can I buy the same one that I could have used on the air motor yeah so the the, the hand pieces will be universal because the connections to air motors are universal okay um so oh, sorry to so to air motors or electric are yes. universal so Got any it. they call them slow um slow speed hand pieces but you know they're kind of, that's kind of <laughs> not that slow but <laughs> they they all are slow speed so not air motors but all have a universal connection and this Thank is like goodness. a good thing this is, we should have we should have more of this we should yeah. have more universal stuff um definitely so cool, as long as you've you. got an LED, uh, if you've got LED, well, you'll always have, to be honest, they always will, because electric ones always have the lug for LEDs, so they will always fit perfectly, I would think. Got it. Thank you. All right. So one to five on, that's going to give you 200,000. So the speed is a lot more. So this opens up new things that you can do with it. I would uh, I would say 100,000 is, is pretty good, though. I think you could probably section teeth with 100,000, um, but for like... What people like about electric hand pieces particularly is things like um, section crowns. And the reason they like them so much is that because the motor is um, electric driven, the torque is absolutely like constant and much higher. So even if it's not spinning as fast as a high speed, the torque is way more level. Um, but that's good for other things as well, like polishing. You know, if you imagine you don't want any variation, you want it, you, you, you want to press and it does what you want. Yeah. So that, that torque is good. So the speed's good as well. It's the control, isn't it? You know, people talk about speed increasing hand pieces, giving you that control, uh, hence why it's good for refining crown preps because you've got ultimate control. Also, you get more tactile feedback and also at a, at a higher level, when you actually look at a the a diamond burr in a fast hand piece uh, driven by air and a diamond burr in a speed increasing, hand piece, speed increasing hand piece, if you look carefully, the air one's actually like shaking, right? Yeah, and they will, if you imagine, if you imagine you've got like, what is it, like, 
uh, things like six bar of pressure going through that's tearing that, there's going to be some movement on it. It's just like absolutely level electric current pushing this at exact speed. Um, mm -hmm. So so it opens up. It basically, it's an improved cutting experience. And because of the increased speed and increased torque, you can do other things like sectioning crowns with these is, is better. It doesn't mean you can't. And, and I, I really don't have a barrier to using a, a, a speed increasing handpiece if you don't have an electric record, because as I've shown, you can. And for me, all restorative would be better with these, at least having a couple available. And I'm, once you try them, you won't, mm -hmm. you'll want them. You won't go back. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, Chris, when I used to work in Richmond, uh, HAP, we only had speed increase hampy. We didn't have. I, th I think we had to like find, scour all the drawers to find uh, an air rotor, uh, traditional fast hampies. We just had all we had was uh, the speed increasing ones. Well, that's what, what people are doing now. So if you've got one of them on your chair, you can do everything with it. So there's no, mm -hmm. there's no need to change. Right now, the the other the other thing about these electric ones is because you you can set the speed right. This is game changing because every polisher, every diamond burr has like an optimum speed range. So mm -hmm. because you know what you're getting, giving it, it's inc it, it's so powerful. Like I, I want to do, I, I want to use some. Um, we do these nice Eve polishers, and I can tell you, I love Eve. This is my favorite them, right? composite polisher. Yeah, if people go too fast with these, they one they break, and two they don't function very well. You want to be using yeah. them about ten thousand, okay? So mm -hmm. you want you one to one. But if you if you're on a if you're on a regular chair you're going to go at 20,000 because that's what happens when you push the foot down. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. these, it, it, the, the, big, the biggest thing with electric for me is that you can start to set your speeds, okay? Now, yes. I'm going to show you something that blew my mind the other day, okay? Most electric units come like this, okay? And they've got a toggle here, right? So you've got, have you seen these before, Jazz? So they've got like different yes. settings on them. It's really common. So you can select whether you go season to one, one to one, or one to five, okay? Yes. And, to me, right, I'm looking at that going, oh, that must be, you have to have it on the right one for the right handpiece. So 16 to one's like an endo handpiece, so I must have an endo one on, or there's gotta be some function difference. One to one I've got, and one to five. Does that make sense? Yes. And then next to it, it gives you this little thing that says times a thousand. So one to one times a thousand. So if you go on 20 there, let's get it on one to one, 20 there times a thousand, that handpiece will be running at 20,000. Okay. Which would be like your uh, slow handpiece, your contra angle handpiece for, yeah. you know, rosehead or whatever you're doing. Rosehead, yeah. And then you can then take that and go from, and this is the brilliant thing, you can go from 30,000 30, to 40,000. Okay. You can, you can tap that in. Mm -hmm. Well, you go to one to five. Okay. So I'm going to put that on full speed. Okay. That's 40,000. Yep. What would happen if I connect a, a, a one to five handpiece to this air motor on that speed? So one to five on that, I would get. Uh -huh. So I mean, you would you you, you would think you'd get uh, two hundred thousand, right? You'd get two hundred thousand, right? Perfect. That's the right. So now I'm going to change it, change it on the computer system to one to five, okay? Mm -hmm. And the maximum that goes up to is twenty, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a one to five on that, okay? What speed are we getting? Hundred thousand. Right. So. This is this this is the thing. I cannot understand why they do it like this. But they 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 the only function of having these different settings is to basically help the dentist times times the number better. So <laughs> twenty on one to five is running the exact same speed as forty on one to one. There's no difference in the micro mm -hmm. mirror. So going at twenty, it's doing the five times for you. So you just have to times it by ten thousand. So that is going to be running on that motor at two hundred thousand. And I've seen so many people talking this through, getting it wrong, because that is ridiculously expensive. It, it, ridiculously confusing, isn't it? Why would anyone do that? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So they're trying to make mm -hmm, it easy mm -hmm. for you to do the uh, mental arithmetic, so it's always timesing by uh, 10,000. Um, and it, it's it. just crazy. So for me, my advice- but if you're actually sectioning a tooth, we'd be going on one-to-one -one at max speed, right? Because that's where you get the high speeds. Well, they're the same. Forty on this, but if you think about it, you're losing your amount of um, you because you can only do twenty increments. You're losing the amount of vari variance you can. You're losing the amount that you can alter the speed by. Um, if you if you do that, so 40, 40 on one to one one thousand is exact same speed as twenty on one to five. So th th there's no. Okay, now you've lost me. Now, 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 uh, now you've lost me. So, uh, if it's one to one and you stick a speed increasing handpiece on, 
Do it, do it with a slow speed, right? Do it with a slow speed, it's easier. Okay, so slow speed. Um, <sighs> no, how do I you can stick I on the 40? You can... So these, see these, these lights here? They mm. make no difference to the speed of the, the um, motor. These three okay. settings. So just look at look at the green numbers. Look at the green numbers. These basically, make no difference. Well, because uh, twenty on one to five is running at the same. That is yeah. running at forty thousand RPM. But why? Because because twenty times five is a hundred thousand. Yeah, because because they're they're trying to do the maths for you of having this high speed this speed increasing handpiece on it. They basically okay. don't trust you to times by five. Ah, uh, okay, now I'm with yeah. you. Yeah, it's literally. You. So that's why on the side it's got like uh, the, yeah. the times 10,000. It's 20 okay. times that. It's 20,000 when you've got it on that. That's so it's stupid. So stu All right. That's confusing. It's so confusing. And, and, okay. and, and, and I've seen like really a lot of people, like experienced people, trying to, and they don't know what speed they're using because that is so confusing what's uh -huh. happening. So if I put, if I had it on mm. that, one to five, and I put a, a one to one handpiece on, that would be running. Even though it says 20, it would be running at 40,000. And I think it's dangerously stupid mm -hmm. because you don't know what you're getting on. So let's try and make this tangible for you. My advice to everyone, producer people watching this, is never take it off the one-to-one, -one, okay? Leave it always on one-to-one mm -hmm. -one setting. Then you know what speed it's coming at. So if it's 20, it's 20,000. And then do your own maths on the high speed, on the, on the, the handpiece you're putting on top. Mm. But, 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 but most chairs don't find, this is because you've got a special uh, portal motor. Most chairs don't do that, right? Most chairs, you know, know. I've, you, I, you would I, times it by five. I've seen this more and more on these units and these standalone okay. units. And it's, it, it's, it's definitely like okay. a, um, like I, I've seen this on, on chairs as well, this kind of ability to switch between. Um, mm -hmm. And I, I wanted right, to actually. highlight it because I think it's, I think it's, imp again, it's like, it's a co it's a mistake that people are making. It's a, the, I don't know, the manufacturers, what they think. They, they may be getting the wrong speeds. They think they're getting one speed, but actually getting a different speed because it just works and the mass works yeah, in a different um, way. And we didn't appreciate that. So um, I'm, I'm glad you so had the next highlighted thing to that. Just touch on is, is the foot pedal, right? So if you have, a, 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 so most of these standalone units, this is a reasonably cheap one that connects in um, that we're using. And it literally just goes on and off. Okay, so I'm going to push the foot pedal down. It's not variable, it's a foot switch. All right, the air turns it on and it's on at, at 40. So it's gonna to go to 40,000. And I can't really control that speed very well. See, it's straight on 40,000 because it's a switch. Got it. So you have to modulate the speed with, with, um, by pressing the buttons up and down and to set it, yes. which is okay. Now, the, the, all the standalone units that I've tried are the same in that they, they don't allow that variable speed. And I'm trying to work with the manufacturers to, to to, to do that, but obviously it's related to the ham, the foot pedal on your chair. But the best ones, if you get like a really top end Belmont or A deck chair, they will have a movable uh, foot pedal for the electric as well. So not only do you set the ma mm -hmm. you set the mm -hmm. maximum speed right, but you can then vary that, and that's that's yes. really good. Okay, so I probably we've probably done enough on that. Um, the next, uh, so the, the, the just thing on, on the on the speed increasings, then you have um, a regular straight, which we would use most of the time, okay? And then we have these 45 degree ones. And I know like you were pretty keen on these. Okay, so. I'm a huge fan of this yeah, for, for section. What I would just open you up to say is the 45 degree uh, handpiece, basically dentistry is hard because you haven't got good access always and good angles. So I use these a lot just for fat refining and crown preps. If you're trying to set, if you're trying to split contacts, right? It, what is better than having a burr at a slight angle to help you get that through and keep your hand in a really comfortable position? Mm -hmm. So a 45 degree handpiece mm -hmm. gives you basically just options to prep and keep your hand in a more comfortable position yeah. um, for lots of things. So I really mm -hmm. like them for that. And I'd highlight that use because I don't think it gets used very much. The other great thing about them is they give you mm -hmm. really good access for surgical stuff. Look at the way, so if I'm trying to section that root, the yes. chuck is designed to kind of lift over the, the tooth next door so you can get right down and section the tooth beautifully. And um, so that's the, probably the main advantage mm -hmm. of them is, is for sectioning teeth. Okay, that brings us on to mm -hmm. the sticky topic of, 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 um, of, air, uh, of both the air and the water coming through. Okay. 
So I'll just set the scene here, Chris. We were talking before we hit record that um, I've had many episodes with the other Chris, Chris Waith, uh, who's, uh, who's great at oral surgery. Uh, and he gave us, the, the community, a really good real-world answer that actually we can use the air rotor in many cases for sectioning teeth without risking an air embolism as long as we take the right precautions. So if you haven't listened to that episode, I believe it's episode 88 or 89. It's the one about um, how to make extractions easier by sectioning and elevating. Um, and essentially, one of the, the lessons that he, he passed on is that with a speed increasing handpiece, because the, the burr is not driven by air, you reduce your risk of air embolism. But from our chat earlier, the, the burr might not be driven by air, but the mist, the water mist, has got a component of air in it. And really, it's debatable whether that will be enough to cause a surgical emphysema. Yeah, so, okay, when we're doing any surgical procedures, there's two risks, I guess. One is you get air through the high speed, through the, whatever you're using, <laughs> speed increasing anything, you get air through the handpiece, and yeah. that could cause a, um, a surgical emphysema where air gets into the, into the soft tissue spaces and you get this swelling up, and, and that can be quite... So scary. No, but Ollie ever has, happened to you, um, mate? Who Ollie Bailey, who I lecture with, had has a good story about one he had, um, which which um, it, it resolved fine. I but I've never seen one. But um, it's one of those things you worry about a lot, isn't it? I'm sure. I'm sure it'll happen. Like most things in <laughs> dentistry, you have a bad day. But um, so that the risk is that that air goes through. The other risk is the water coming through these on the internal water is from your chair, and it's not it's not sterile. Okay. So, um, yeah, so what, it's disinfected, and, and, but not like, sterile. We could talk about how important that is, but I mean, the mouth isn't very sterile, is it? So, um, I would be on the exactly. Uh, and we had a whole thread on Facebook when I asked Chris, like, Chris, is it okay that I'm not using saline and I'm using uh, uh, the water from the handpiece? Essentially, yeah, I mean, in the I, grand scheme of things, it's okay. The mouth is a dirty environment over hundreds of species of bacteria, et cetera, et cetera. I think and I've yet to have an issue. I've been doing this for years. If you're cutting tooth and stuff, I think it's absolutely, for me, it's zero. I, I just don't understand why it would be a problem. It's not a sterile environment. If you're trying to place an implant in bone and you're particularly worried about infection, then maybe different. And they tend to use saline for that. And so bone cutting, yeah. maybe a little bit more, but teeth, it, 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 not for me. I, 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 you know, I would, I would be pretty easy going That's on that. fair. That's so, fair. So the water of these is always going to be internal. Now, you can mm. get speed increasing or, or slow speed hand pieces with a, with a separate um, pipe where you connect the water in. Um, and what that does is obviously you have a separate saline water supply. But that has to be driven as well. It has to have a pressure to get it through and it yes. will drive the water through. And that's going to be your surgical hand pieces. Mm -hmm. And they have no air coming through because it's driven through that. And, and they just have a drip of water. And it's not like it's not in a mist. It's just drippy so that it doesn't have any air going through. So it's totally safe that way. Mm -hmm. OK, um, they could go any on, on any electric Got motor it. or anything, but they need that drip of sailing through. But but just just a, just a disclaimer, guys, that I, you know I am a huge fan of using this. I, I don't have saline. I'm using the water, internal water, uh, and I think it's very safe. I've been doing it for years. Chris Waite is, is happy with it, and he uh, or he's limited to oral surgery. So all those fears that we had before about surgical emphysema, especially if you're not raising a flap, you're going to be totally fine. So don't be afraid to section elevate. Is my lesson to you with a speed yeah, increasing, increasing, I mean, increasing yeah, handpiece. It, it, you will exactly love it. that. If you're not raising a flap, I think. If you're doing sectioning teeth, I, I would be pretty confident with that. So, so, anyway, so that's going through. I'm just turning it on, sorry. And the misconception slightly is there's absolutely no air going through if it's on a on an electric. Um, but there normally is air because they use air to drive the mist of the of the water. Okay, and it's. Mm -hmm. But when you feel it to your when you feel it to your wrist or something, when you feel it, like you don't feel the air because you the, the, you feel the mist. So really, compared to. Um, compared to, you know, it's not air, it's because it's a mist, it reduces the overall, I suppose, capacity or the feel of the air or the, yeah, so, or the drive um, of the air because it's, it's you, a mist form. The, so in, 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 a, in a surgical handpiece, they're blocked off those air channels so that you don't get any air. So if you imagine there's air that comes could come through to turn mm -hmm. the handpiece, but there's air that's coming through to drive this mist, this water mist. Um, so what you can do to turn that off is on some, not all chairs, but some chairs, I, I, it, there's a there's two you know those knobs at the side of the chair which you fiddle with when the water's not coming through properly um and you turn them like viciously and crazily yes um it's worth by the way if you ever got mm -hmm. 
just completely guessing which you don't know which knob you're turning, my, my you don't know which direction to turn. You're just trying everything haphazardly. Have a quick chat to the air, a chair engineer and put some on for those yes. when you get your chair or talk to your principal. Is is it? It's a two-second job. Because far too sensible, Chris. That's far, it, that is far too sensible. Anyway, some chairs only have one knob, and that will do the amount of water yeah. supply. But other chairs have a second knob, which does the basically controls the amount of air mist you have. So you can turn the air mist right down to zero and just have water dribbling, and that would obviously be um, totally safe for um, mm -hmm. doing surgicals with. It would have no air coming through, um, and. The other thing you could do is turn the water off and have mm -hmm, mm -hmm. be sectioning and have um, a nurse with a syringe with saline and, and be doing that, which is, it's just, to be honest, it's, it's, it's absolutely viable yes. as well if you are quite concerned. And, and you don't want to be at the point where you're I've done that. I used to do that in Singapore, so I've been, I've been through and that and it's, it's totally options fine. of treatment because you don't have access to like a, a 10,000 pound unit. You know, it's there are ways around these um, things to, to, to get, you know, what we are about um, generally, and, and I know you're about as well as getting all dentists to be able to to do quality work, and you do need access to equipment, but there are ways to do it in an affordable way. And then mm -hmm. when you get when you get you know those big associate Absolutely. paychecks start adding mm -hmm. up, you can then buy your nice equipment. But you've got to start. You have to start, and that's the thing. Uh, okay, so Chris, with with the fast handpiece or the uh, air rotor. The disadvantage is that it can talk out uh, and then you don't get to get control the delicate speeds. I can't uh, use my flame shape at slow speeds through the pericomata, etc. So you lose a degree of control, but that's where the advantages of the speed increasing handpiece shines through, the electric one. Are there any disadvantages of ha using or, or electric handpieces or speed yeah, increasing? I can think of the only really disadvantage is the price. The price point's a lot higher um, for, for them generally. Um, mm -hmm. and it's just as well, like, so we, we got some really nice ones that we, we were tr trialing. We wanted to retail, um, we can, you know, we've got them and we're happy with them, but you need, it's not like you can just get one and you go on with it. You have to get a chair engineer to plug that in and put the control unit on. And so the chairs that have them built in generally are more expensive. You can get mm -hmm. ones. Um, I know there's a company that make an entirely standalone one with a, a water line that's entirely standalone and that's. Uh, good, but again, you're then going to have two pedals in the room. You're going to put it on the side, and mm -hmm. it only has one. The speed doesn't vary with the with your foot pedal on those as well. Um, mm -hmm. So th there are but, some. But ways... procedurally speaking, procedurally speaking, there's no procedural. No, it's, I think I think the disadvantage is, is is basically upgrading our chairs to put them in, and to yeah. and there's a pr there's a premium. So if we want to upgrade our chair that we have, we've got to get engineers to put that in. Or we're going to have to do that. So we're looking but, at. But Chris, based on what I learned from you earlier, is not not you know it would be ideal to upgrade your chair so that you can then go up to the two hundred thousand speeds. But even if you had an older chair with yeah. an air motor, motor, you could still get those hundred thousand yeah. speeds up to. Don't, so don't, my 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 take to people, Patricia, who I know, are, but not all entirely, but there's a lot of associates, is you can buy one of these with internal water and you can go straight away. Okay. Um, and, and don't let that be, a, and that for restorative work, these are massive and you can get one straight away. And we're looking at getting, Jazz, they've just started making these that are geared. So this is one-to-one, -one, but this, we're just looking at, I'm just important to trial them. These will be geared to one to two. So this would then run at 40,000 uh, with the regular mm -hmm. air. So that would, it wouldn't be quite as good talk, but it's getting a lot better. Okay. And so we're looking at that because I, I committed to finding a way that people can get onto this for like you know mm. sub <laughs> sub 500 quid like get going <laughs> it would be would be my mm -hmm. my dream to get people doing that so they can do the res restorative um and and cool. well, uh, well my essential recommendation uh, to dentists when they ask me okay which hand piece should i buy is uh, get a 45 degree because i think it's so versatile you can use it on those restorative situations and for sectioning uh, but then also if you can afford one and you're going to be getting yeah get get both get a, get a normal one for your restorative and then you can you always got the 45 degree one which i reserve mostly for surgery but sometimes if my regular ones in the autoclave then i'll use my 45 degree one just like you showed it just gives you improved access so uh, how much um cuz cuz i was actually we were you know before we hit record I was amazed at how you're able to, to sell one for the price that you do because when I was in Singapore uh, they were doing a discount at a conference so I managed to buy some for 1200 sing dollars and that would work out for about you know 
800 pounds and that was me getting a really good deal at the time uh, and now when I go on the websites they're they're pretty expensive but then you told me yours are in the 600 pound region so how is that how is that possible yeah so the the 45 degree ones are more expensive I think the components are quite difficult and they don't sell the volume which is probably the volume that they sell so we do those for 660 uh, including including that and um I think that's pretty pretty good, um, and the the repair Very parts good. the repair parts are, are more as well. So we, and we, um, we we make sure we we've got a lot in. Uh, we'll talk about that maybe in a bit. And the the regular ones you can get, I think they're like three sixty, um, including VAT again. Um, so that that's a, a good price point. Wait, you're you're telling me a speed increasing red ring handpiece from Incidental Limited is three hundred and sixty pounds? Yeah, yes, yeah, that's just, so we're, that's insane. I think we're good. I think we're good. We all of them have got LED. <laughs> Um, and yeah, I'm pretty pleased. So just if, you, if, you can, if I can bore you, the story with this is we were running our courses and I wanted lots of high speed, like lots of hand pieces. And in fact, a lot of our good product development comes from the fact that we're running a course and I just can't afford to buy 20 NSK hand pieces. So I trialed probably, mm, I don't know, 20 or 30, 20 different high, high speeds. And we found a supplier where I was like, these are in these are amazing. These are really good. And so we use- You, you trial high speeds or electric? Uh, so we started with the speed increasing for, for the um, for the course, we wanted a speed increasing so we could cut cavities, but we, we run our courses as hotel courses, right? So uh, we, we wanted it to come off a, you know, um, a chair, a, what they call the micrometer without, without any water through. So we needed a non-LED one to five. So we tried loads of companies and these mm -hmm. ones I loved. And I was like, these are bloody good. And we used them for a year on the courses. And I was like, at the same time, I was like, I think we should try these. So we got them and we put them in about uh, six or seven different practices. We have quite a lot of friends who will, will try stuff for us. And, and I was like, I don't want to sell them if they're going to have problems. And we tried them a long time and basically they've worked really well. Now you do get problems with, I, I know if I can, all hand pieces have issues and they have quite a few, okay? And, and the reason is if you push really hard or you do, you're working on them just generally, they have bearings in them and all hand pieces, the bearings will go. And I would say to Dennis, they're gonna go every six to nine months. Now they might last two years or a year or 18 months, but they will go eventually. And if I said to you, they're gonna go six to nine months, then you're not gonna be upset when they do. And the speed increasing ones go more often, okay? okay? From and. So Chris, just to just put things into perspective, when I bought mine in 2017, it's now been five years. Granted, I'm, I'm using it for wisdom teeth and I'm not like an oral surgeon, so I'm not doing wisdom teeth all the time. I've yet to have an issue. I've not had to get it serviced. I think the 45 um, is, And it works fine. How, the 45 yeah. is going to get less because you're not doing anywhere near the volume of cutting on, on them. Um, fine. Uh, I, so. But how will I know? How will I know? Is it, will I just, will it make a funny sound? Will it just not cut? Yeah, so we tried them for like a year. Now, so there's two things that it like seize and it won't turn properly because the bearings of, basically if you, if you open these up, there's like little balls in a, in a ring and they start to leak out or they disintegrate and break. So they won't rotate nicely or sometimes it'll shake. If, if you carried on using it after it's done that, it'll start to just kind of, you know, like a burr when it's slightly bent, Got it'll it. start to go on you like that. And it can even, mm -hmm. you can even get sparks. And the reason you get sparks is that the bearing is moving a little bit and the bear is hitting the rim. Um, so the minute you get any of that kind of wobble or non-smooth, just, just send just send it back. Now, and you get companies that will maintain them uh, or whatever. And I, I can't really see the point because the bearings are either fine or they're not. That's pretty much it. Um, like that's, there's not really an in-between. When they go not fine, you need to, you know, they need changed, right? So uh, I was worried because I, High speed increases particularly have got a reputation of breaking a lot and the repairs being very expensive for them. That's that's the reputation they, they have. So what was, and we had a few over the year that we trialed them where they went a bit funny or not quite right. Particularly these, these guys, um, I suppose more than the 45s to be fair. So we, 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 we decided we, if we were gonna sell them, we wanted to be able to repair all the things that go, all the issues in the UK. So what happens when you buy them often from a lot of the manufacturers to be honest are in China, You'll get them, they'll have a year warranty, but you if you think of the customs and issues and costs of sending them back and forth, it's massive, not to mention the environmental and mm -hmm. all the other impacts and the communication, there's a lot of issues there. So we've become really good friends and work really closely with our supplier. They have sent us every single, all the bearings for all the different things. We try and keep it minimal. And we taught ourselves basically and bought the tools to repair them all and we taught our team. So we can do them locally. 
And because of that, I'm not so worried about them breaking as I can repair them. And that's partly how we can get the price down and we give a guarantee of a year repair replace and you can extend that. You just pay a monthly fee and we'll keep that going indef indefinitely. I, I reckon we can turn them around in 48 hours every time. Um, and I have wow. loads of stock of the bearings ready. So, so like for instance, the high speeds, we only do the cable coupling because if I did all the different couplings, I'd have to stock all the different parts. So we limit the amount we do so that we can get the parts in reasonably cheap. And because mm. I'm fairly confident we can do the repairs, we can bring the price down because it all kind of knocks on. Um, so that's how we've got the price down. Is, is, so, so you've got, you're, you're starting kind of like a, a handpiece yeah, club. Yeah, so we call, the, we call the, the brand handpiece club. The idea was originally that we would just literally... <laughs> oh, you actually handpiece call it handpiece club? club. Okay, thing. that was just me just messing, yeah, messing we, about we with gonna, you. <laughs> we wanted it to be like a subscription, <laughs> like just pay X and you keep the handpiece uh, and, and we'll carry on paying it. Um, but in the end, it was a bit difficult, but yeah. we, we just do buy it. We give you a year of like in the club and then you can extend the club if you want. And I think we're really, I think we're really compared here. Mm -hmm. But the main thing is, you know, we're accountable. You know who we are and we will fix it quickly. Um, and, you know, <laughs> whenever you release a new product, you're quite nervous. We've tried them for a year, but even then you're like, oh God, we've put our reputation on the line. So even if we make no money, we'll fix them <laughs> and then we'll withdraw them. <laughs> But, but it, it, the, the, well, that's the thing I love about you guys. You know, Incidental guys, if you, if you haven't heard of Incidental Limited before, and I'm sure many of you have already, like you got a real face, you got a real person, you got Chris at the end. He's, 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 it's, it's like four dentists, by dentists kind of feel uh, about this company, uh, and the authentic, authenticity just shines through, which is why uh, I think our episode previously on Class Twos was so successful that people understood that hey this guy has tried a lot of matrices and he's not saying that there's one best one but the or the ideas that you gave that episode were so authentic and you, the reputation you've built now uh, kudos is, is brilliant so it's a company definitely that we love and trust and you have that you know you, you 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 know you're not so big and i mean i mean this with love and respect you're not so huge you're not so international that uh, you lose touch with your customers you're you're small enough and in, in, in a nice way that you are like you know you're a yeah, dm we, away yeah which I, I, love. I think so i mean you know you because because it's because you're out there, it's you, your name's on the line, isn't it? So, I mean, look, I could be here in a year and they've all failed and, and whatever, but they, they, we, we'll cover it. <laughs> we, we've we've done the test that we can and we we think we can do yeah. this. So, um, yeah, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. the, the, the the thing for the website we have on is is making um, quality dentistry accessible for all. And that's our, our mission. So it's, it's can we get a, ham, a speed increasing handpiece in everybody's hands without... And in genuinely every associate's hands, whether they work NHS anywhere or around the world, you know, well, not we're not really international yet, but like one day, <laughs> but get them, get them to them yet. and give them give them the yeah, service, yeah. service and give them an option to do it at a price. So that's yeah, that's the wider mission. Yeah. Well, even even if you're not in the UK, then at least you've learned something about hand pieces, which is great. If you're in the UK, uh, get in touch, get get some of these in your hands. You you'll you, you know you'll thank us later, uh, kind of thing. And you also have to respect companies that quote you with VAT. You have to really respect companies that quote you with VAT. I hate getting a quote, and then I click online and it takes you to a portal where it was she told me it was a thousand pounds, but now actually it's twelve hundred pounds. Well, I, you know, I, I can't claim VAT back for my uh, clinical stuff, so that sucks. So, um, I, you know, massive respect for being a company that, you know, will, will say, this is the bottom line, this is a quote, I'm not going to sneakily add VAT on. So uh, companies listening to this, please take note, really important. Uh, and so my other mission, Chris, is to squeeze my guests to get some sort of discount or benefit for, for my listeners, my dear producer, Rati. Uh, is there anything you can do uh, in terms of uh, the hand pieces, but also just incidental limited? That'd be cool to yeah, so, pass on some sort um, of discount. People probably know, but I've known Jazz for a while, and we, we you know, we, we get on anyhow. So we, I, it'd be really nice to help support Producive both the platform, but also the um, the people who uh, we have a lot of people who listen to this who buy from us. So we wanted to do a little to reward them. So we're gonna um, from time to time do do some discount codes. So we've got a five percent discount on absolutely everything in the store. Um, to, to guys, we just shoot to the UK, so it's absolutely everything. Wow! And um, the promotion code is going to be onions. So put in onions. Uh, <laughs> chop... <laughs> onions. So plural, onions plural. plural yeah, onions and plural. Give you five percent off. We'll we'll put. A, I don't know. We'll, we'll make a time of it. Maybe a month or something like that. 
I'll, I'll put it in the outro. Once we've decided, I'll put it in the outro yeah. in terms of what, so what sticky, date. Uh, amazing. Onions. I love this. So this is the best. It's, it's um, usually protrusive, but I love that it's onions. So yeah, just start chopping your onions. And remember that onions will get you 5% off in the entire store. And that's a pretty decent amount of, of hand pieces, whether you get the contra angle, oh, sorry, the angled one, 45 degree, or the normal one. Uh, I just get both um, and, and keep it. You'll, you know, you will love it, especially at those, you know, you buy those two, you'll still be cheaper yeah, think, than, think, than buying think, from another I mean, manufacturer. I mean, I'm not, well, I, I think you're going to be, you're going to be, you're going to be quiz in. I have a look at the, there's that, the other ones are great as well in the market. Have a look, um, but we try to be, we try to be really competitive on price, but mainly these things need looking after. And um, we've tried, we try to really work on that, the service um, and being in the UK doing it. That was important to us, environmentally, cost, everything. So that's what I think is our USP with the hand pieces. Hats off, turbans off, my friend. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, thanks for, for covering this this big topic on, on hand pieces. Uh, you really demystified a lot. Uh, I learned a lot of things that I didn't know that the slow hand piece, uh, th what the, the the coupling is actually called an air motor. I, I just call it, I, I, you know, the whole air thing threw me off a little bit. Um, so I learned a lot as well. Uh, and also about the how, how the maths is figured out on one of those, which is really confusing. So you broke that down. Uh, sorry <laughs> yeah, that I took, took, took a while to internalize that. Very confused. Thank you so much, Chris. I, it's uh, not, it's not intuitive it's, yeah. it's a bad system so yeah. yeah hopefully that comes across in the edit yeah. <laughs> we'll cut it <laughs> No, it, it will. It will. And the Chris, uh, as, as always, thank you so much for your time. I know you do so much for the community. Uh, Instant Unlimited is a service to the community, I think. I know it's a shop, but essentially you, you, you put on these great products and you're always innovating. Um, oh, can we tell them? Okay, let's not tell them about the, the protrusive add-on. I can't, I can't, I'm not going to. There's a secret coming, which we've talked about, the development. There's a secret coming. Uh, okay. No, no, no. I, I want to do a whole special thing about that because that's so cool what you've done. That's, you, that is so cool what you've done uh, with Dude, the heat. We're always designing okay. products yeah. around the Petrucerati now. So um, you put your suggestions in. I do. I do. Listen. I, I, so, yeah, if, 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 you, if you have a Kasori, if you have a Kasori heater and you remember way back when, when we recommended it and hundreds of you um, bought, bought a Kasori 30 pound composite heater from Amazon, uh, Chris has done something that you will absolutely love. Right, cheers, so I will we'll reveal that very soon. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that. Remember, it's 5% off before the end of this month. That's September 2022, in case you're watching this from the future. September 2022, 30 September, the promo code expires, which is onions, and you get 5% off hand pieces, everything, the lot of Incidental Limited store. The link is below. And if you are watching for the future, if there is another promotion running, it'll all be down below. If you enjoy this video, hit subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I'll catch you in the next one.